<clears throat> Today I'm going to show you what I use to feed my rabbit or what snacks and stuff I feed my rabbit and what I feed him on a day on a daily basis. Okay? So we're gonna start with his pellets. So I have his spoon right here. And ooh, this is his food bag. This is a bedding bag, but I keep his food like in here because I accidentally broke the seal. <laughs> I'm using the KD 40 diet, 40 diet. This is for bunnies, duh. And it is rabbit food. It says that this is for all adult rabbits six months and older. We have no idea if he's a baby rabbit or adult rabbit, so we're just gonna use this. And it's, he hasn't been having any problems like in his poop or anything, so. Hmm. What I usually feed him a day is I have his bowl. This is what I use to feed him in. Put this in his cage. And I actually only gave him too much today because I was just in a rush. So I usually I take as much as I need. And this is for the whole day. As you can see, I do not fill it up to the max. I just half a little bit more until it gets up to the max. Like half of it. And I just... And the thing I do, I don't fill it up to the max because he's just a baby rabbit and also I feed him snacks throughout the day. And I, in, the, in the food, there's these little um, teeth. What is it for? Like teeth cleaning and these are safe. These are natural colors. There's no food coloring in these. There's natural coloring. coloring. So it's these, they're blue, orange. Here, I grabbed an orange one and a blue one. So, oh, and there's also like a reddish one. So there's these. I'll show you um, one at a time. So, as you can see, they like these colors. They're all natural coloring, so they're very safe for your rabbit. There's this one, it's like a blue. And like a green color. And this, another one of these orange ones. So, that's what I use as snacks, and I keep them in this. I, ask, I just put some pellets in there for no reason. So I'll pour that out and put some of these in there. And I usually stack it up to the top and make sure the that I can shake it, because when he hears this, as you can, if you can hear, he's probably he's drinking his water. So I shake it, he'll come to the cage. And he'll see it, but he's sleeping right now. Well, nah, he, no, he's not. I'm sorry. He's not sleeping right now. He's drinking right now, so he's probably not going to pay attention. He's probably eating and drinking. So, yeah, that's what he likes to do. And I got this little cute container from there's this, um, we went to, what is it? Joe's, Joe's Crab Shack. And, um, there was some slime for a dollar, and her dad, my friend's dad, bought it for us for me and my friend. So, it's this cute little cute small container. I use it and I put the top on and then I shake it. When he hears this, he comes running to the cage or running wherever I am. So those are those. And usually I use this to like scoop out the potion portions for like lunch, dinner, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And right now is in a couple not right now, a couple minutes from now he is it's gonna be um dinner, lunch time for him, and I give him like at least three scoops, like heaping scoops, and people at and I sometimes I used to ask all the time, what is a heaping spoonful? Heaping is like it's not like a perfect spoonful, like this or something. It's like a heaping spoonful, means meaning it's over where it's supposed to be. And so I give him a three or more heaping spoonfuls. And at dinner I give him a little bit more. Ah, he's out of his cage. Um, I give him a little bit more because I want him want it to hold him over for the night and until I wake up. And I don't really know if I've ever woken up in the middle of the night 
like that, but I don't usually do that unless it's like school time or unless I'm sick. I do it a lot when I'm sick because, um, hi buddy. Hi. Oh, <laughs> he's so cute. He's playing with my shoe. Um, when I'm sick, I tend to wake up because my stomach's hurting and I can't fall asleep when I'm, my stomach's hurting. And it's just really hard for me to focus on sleeping. So, yeah. But especially when I have, like, family or friends over here, my, or my dad has friends over here, it's hard for me to focus on trying to sleep, especially on school nights. Sometimes I wish I could, like, use my magic powers and make them be quiet sometimes. If I have them. <laughs> and he's back in his cage, drinking away. So, I wish I could take it out, but I'm not going to. Um, so here's what it looks like, these look like in this little container. Super cute. So, um, I do not, rec I recommend using a water bowl. I know it's my recommendation, but I don't use my own recommendations. I use a water bottle personally, because sometimes at night when I don't want to fall asleep on my friend when I'm FaceTiming her, like it's 12 in the morning, sorry, I love staying up. I love hearing that sound because it's like so annoying and it just keeps me up and hurt when she's trying to talk to me. I don't want to fall asleep in the middle of her conversation. So, yeah. So, moving on to the snacks. You know, I kind of show you both of them. So, I have these that came out of his 4T diet. His 4T diet. This bag. Oh, yeah. So I have this um, Orchard Grass Hay, it's by Oxbow, Oxbow, it says the ideal herbivore diet is 75% yeah, sorry I'm getting tongue twisted, 75% of natural quality hay, 30% of fortified Fortified um, food, 5% of healthy treats and greens, on one minute fresh water. So, hmm. If you want to have your um, bunny, like, here's some different, I would like to say, do not ever make your rabbit's diet made out of all hay but that's the thing that needs to be well rounded in your um, bunny's diet that's what you need to be that needs to be 75 percent of that i don't do not i repeat do not um make your bunny's diet all out of pellets pellets are you're supposed to feed them pellets, like 20% of the pellets are supposed to be made up of their diet. But you shouldn't just make it all of their diet or more of pellets than hay. Because hay is what helps them digest all the pellets. And if they don't eat hay, hay it's going to be hard for them to digest all those pellets they eat. And if they eat too much pellets, they're not going to be, they're not going to want to eat any of their hay. I'm just trying to say, I'm not telling you what to feed your rabbit. Like, trying to say, oh, you have to feed your rabbit this, or you don't, you should not, you can't feed a rabbit that. I'm just saying, um, it's not a good idea, too, because it's going to be hard, and your rabbit's not going to have a long, healthy, good life. And rabbits are supposed to live up to 8 to 10 to, eight, 10 to 12 years. So, yeah. And here's some of the different types of hay. There's Western Timothy hay, which is flavorful and firm. Orchard Meadow hay, which is flavorful and softer. Botanical hay, sweeter and firm. Orchard Grass hay, which is what I'm using, is flavorful, not flavorful, sweeter and softer. Oat hay is hardier and crunchiest. 
I don't recommend the crunchiest part. Alfalfa hay is sweetest and softer. Alfalfa hay, uh, you might want to feed that to like a, a really younger rabbit. But otherwise, if it's like an adult, I wouldn't recommend feeding that to your adult rabbit. Even though it's a senior or something like that, don't. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Okay, now moving on to snacks now. As I showed you these little teeth cleaning ones. And I have these Vit Vitacraft Slims with Carrot. No more thick treats for pet rabbits. So these are these. I'll take one out and show you what they look what they look like. And then I haven't um, broken off. So. so they look like this. They smell really weird. <laughs> and they just look like something like that. They look like a little carrot slim, which is what they are. Um, I do. I wouldn't recommend feeding your rabbit the whole stick. I only like. Let me show you when I broken off of that up. I have a, quite a couple in here because I can always just find one of them. Just the same one. Oh, okay. Like, I break off of it. He's ain't off. I've broken off of this one, like, many times. Like, four to five times. And it's almost gone. I haven't gave him any in a couple days just because I've been feeding him a lot of these, trying to teach him how to teach him tricks. Which will be another video in a, for another day. Or maybe today. I don't know. I posted a video earlier on how to kill these kids, so I might do another one. Um, yeah. I've tasted these, weirdly, because, um, they say it's good bonding if you, um, share food or treats with your bunny. These taste like... How should I put this? Dried carrots. They just taste like dry carrots to me. I wouldn't like say, mmm, these rabbit treats are good. I don't really say that they're good. But I would eat them. Like, if I had to eat a whole pack of these, I would probably be disgusted and so dehydrated. And my mouth was going to be so, like, dry. But I will eat them. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. So, yeah, I got these for pet, from PetSmart. Everything you saw in this video, like this bedding, this kind of bedding, which is not including in food, but all of this stuff, like the alfalfa hay, the pellets, and the carrot slims are from PetSmart, except the spoon, the cup, and the dish. So, and not... The container that the stuff is in. The stuff that's in here is from PetSmart. The container is not. So, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And hope you use some of my recommendations. So, comment, like, subscribe, and turn on that bell so you can get notifications when I post a video. And, bye!